Okay, welcome back to another issue of uh, Andrew's Angle. I've just returned from a week out in Napa Valley, and uh, Napa and Sonoma, I should say, and I had a very hard time coming back. When I say that, I say it because my wife told me last week all it did was rain here. Out there, all it was was 78 degrees, sunny, not a cloud in the sky. I understand why people love California. Okay, so separate from that is the wine. And I had a great week, it's been five or six years since I've been there, so it was an enlightening week for me. It was more education to kind of get a feel for what's cooking, as well as I had heard that people had written off the 2009 and 2010 vintages saying that rain and heat had really damaged the vintages and they weren't going to be good, and I said, there's got to be more to it. Um, bottom line is basically when you deal with really good winemakers who do the right thing in the vineyards, their yields will go down, um, or up in better vintages, but down in tougher vintages, but good wines are still gonna be made, and that was my takeaway from being in both Napa and Sonoma last week. So, real quickly, as I'm digging through my hundreds of emails on my computer that backed up and the offers that are coming in since I was there, um, I didn't get to see all I wanted to see, but I'm kind of pouring through it. I've got all my notes here from the tasting trip, and just real quick, a couple highlights that I went on. Um, I saw the new wine, Spectator just came in yesterday, and in it, um, one of the estates I really loved was um, Bedrock from, uh, from Morgan Peterson. He's the son of Joel Peterson from Ravenswood, making the shebang, uh, and some really cool um, original California varietals. Went and saw our good friends at Dutton Goldfield, Dan Goldfield, saw the oh-so-dynamic winemaking and entrepreneurial we'll call them wine team from Orrin Swift. They're just gonna set the wine world on its ear with a new project that's coming up. Spent some time with Andy Smith at Dumal. His Pinots and Shards were great. Had a great, great time with Nathan Roberts and Duncan Myers at Arno Roberts. This is a newer estate for us and they're working with some cool Rhone slash California varietals. Uh, spent some time with Pax Mall out in Forestville out in West Sonoma. He's making, um, he's just working great with Shard and Syrah are kind of like his two specialties. See, you'll see a lot on him. Spent time with Thomas Brown, the, you know, best known as the winemaker of, um, of all the Outpost wines. These were dynamic, super cool guy, loves Barolo. Shout out to Thomas, love you because you love Barolo. And then we also spent time uh, tasting through all of Josh Jensen's wines from Calera. I was thrilled to hear that uh, his son actually lives here in Scarsdale, huh, who knew? And uh, we're gonna get him to come and do some tastings here as well as get some library selections. As you can tell from everything I've kind of rattled off, I soaked up a lot last week. I'm gonna try and disseminate through it all and uh, we're gonna get some offers out, some pushes and some promotions. But here I am, Mr. Italy, the Italy guy, to tell you that I'm pretty excited about what I saw in California last week and uh, just keep staying, staying tuned to the angle because there's gonna be a lot of very cool California stuff coming out in let's say the next two to five weeks. So look forward to it. See ya.